morning brothers and sisters no waterfront chat this morning I'm here at the the beautiful food lion <laughs> they've got the Christmas trees out already look at that okay I just wanted to give you a little of the backstory on the woman the Christian lady who spoke out at the Muslim prayer service at the National Cathedral I'm sure everybody's already heard by now but for those who haven't you know that is a really huge deal this is huge because this was not just one of those interfaith services you know it's it wasn't that it was totally a Muslim prayer service and it was by invitation only okay and for for this to take place in the National Cathedral I mean, this shows you how close we are to the coming of the Lord and the one world religion that the Antichrist will set up and all that. And for it to take place there is just jaw-dropping, really. So let me give you a little bit of the backstory about this Christian woman. I read an article. I'll try to remember where I got it from. I think I got it from WorldNet Daily, but I'll try to get it if I can and get the link so you can read it for yourself. But this Christian woman was just awesome. She, she came, the Lord had told her to come to the meeting. He had told her to come to the meeting and speak out. And she drove all the way from Tennessee. I think they said it was 400 miles. So she drove like 400 miles to get to this prayer service. The prayer service was by invitation only. And she was very scared that she wouldn't even be able to get in there after driving all that way. And she was also scared she'd get arrested. So by faith, she went in there. And this just shows you how the Lord made a way. Hallelujah. If you're doing the will of God, God will make a way for things to happen. He really, really will. And this is, this is just a perfect demonstration of that. So she went up there and... She didn't know how in, how in the world she was going to get into the meeting. And she saw some security guards outside. And she just fell in line and followed directly behind them. Hoping they would, you know, hoping that others would think she was with them. <laughs> and so it worked. It worked. She managed to get into the building. And then it was a while before the service was going to start. She didn't know what to do with herself. Because she didn't know, they didn't check her ID or anything. Praise God. Can you believe that? The Lord just really was walking right with her. So she got in there. She went and hid in the bathroom. She went and hid in the ladies' room for a while. And by the hand of God, there was a, a press lady. A lady from the press was in the ladies' room also. And so they talked for a minute. She was asking her what time the service started and everything and so they started talking and the woman said you know follow me and I'll, I'll help you get up to the front or, or something like that Any, anyhow the, this lady helped her get right to the front area where uh, it was taking place and so does that not show you the Lord was leading this woman right by the hand so she got up there and she spoke and told him that Jesus Christ is Lord. She had rehearsed a little speech, but she didn't go by that. The Holy Spirit just got a hold of her, and she saw that cross hanging in the middle of, of the cathedral. And so she started talking about the cross and, and telling them Jesus is Lord. And the, the cops, as you saw in the clips, the cops came up and well, the security came up and they took her by the arms and led her out of there. She said they didn't hurt her. They didn't hurt her at all. And she got on outside where the cops were. They led her to the cops and the cops did not arrest her. But So this was an amazing way that God made a way for her to do His will. And it was just awesome. And a little bit of her backstory in the article said that I mean, this woman is a mighty woman of God. She said that she was recently divorced. Her husband, listen to this, her husband divorced her and her two kids disowned her because she stood up 
against gay marriage and, and other moral issues. And she stood up for, you know, biblical ideals. And they just abandoned her over it, and she's living in her car. She's in her car now, and she said the Lord told her that he was going to use her to go from place to place. And so I just wanted to get on here, tell you a little bit about her backstory, and I, I ask you to pray for her. Her name is Christine Weick. I, I think you pronounce it Weick or something, W-I-E-C-K. Please pray for Christine Weick that she may continue to do the Lord's will and he would use her to stand up for him wherever he might send her to and pray for a hedge of protection around her as she lives in that car. Just please pray for her. That is, talk about going through a dark night of the soul as, as per my last videos. You know, her family has abandoned her because of her love for Christ and standing up for his commandments and his will. So that must be so terribly, terribly painful. So please pray for Christine. God bless all of you guys. And I'm about to go grocery shopping. Y'all have a great day in the Lord. He loves you so much. Hang in.